Google just dropped their new Flows platform, and it might be the simplest way ever to automate the Google suite. So I truly think what Google's doing right now is absolutely incredible in the space. They're dropping product after product. They're making their models better than a lot of other frontier models right now. ChatGPT, Claude, and even Sam Altman, the CEO of OpenAI, the company who makes ChatGPT, said in an internal memo for the company that got leaked that they are going to need to work a lot harder and that employees at OpenAI might be very unhappy in the coming months because they're going to need to work so hard to outcompete what Google have done. So this is no exception. It is a really simple product, and I genuinely believe it's the most simple product that if you're just getting into automation and if you want to start just kind of hacking away at some simple tasks that you do every day, whether it's just for yourself in your workflow or for your employees, and you want to distribute this across your organization, that's completely fine. So it's called Workspace Flows. Now, this is the UI right here. Automate your work with AI agents. So very buzzwordy title right here, but the hype is very real. So if you go on over to my agents, you can see three that I've created that I'm going to briefly walk through. And then I'm also going to show you the template library they have with all the pre-made agents that you can just quickly select and basically customize in a matter of minutes to your needs and use cases. So this one is the send me summaries and action items after a meeting. So this is very simple. And again, the real value in this is the fact that you can get it done in literally five minutes or less. Whereas in Make or N8N or Zapier or any of these other automation platforms, while you can connect the Google, the Google suite and you can use tools like Fireflies to take notes or Otter or anything like that, and you can just connect the APIs together and then you can achieve the same functionality as Flows, this is natively built into Google so it just gives you that edge and Google is um, like inherently going to design their products to work more seamlessly with the Google suite than NADN. You're going to have to jump through more hoops with NADN than if you natively do it on Google. And I see no downside, honestly, if you're already using Google to just do this and automate these. Again, I'm not a huge fan of automating stuff across a ton of softwares. And then you have this software overhead and this management overhead, maintenance overhead to kind of keep things going. However, this is dead simple, so that's why I like it. So getting back into the workflow, it'll check my meeting. Five minutes be after the meeting, it will start. See if I have a Gemini transcript. So you need to make sure to actually click record with Gemini to get the transcript in your meeting. That's the only annoying thing about this. Next step here, it'll actually decide if the following meeting notes um, are found and, and if there's identifiable action items. So if there's no action items in the link to the meeting notes and you can add variables very easily just by clicking this plus button. So you can see I only have one variable available or one kind of like node available, which is this based on a meeting and all of these sub variables within that node. So meeting title, description, meeting link, meeting ID, all guest email addresses. So you can grab all of these and do some really awesome things with them. So for example, instead of this prompt right here, I me checking if there are action items in the meeting notes, because that's what I'm looking for. I'm looking for next steps and I'm looking to send myself those next steps. So I remember them. Then you could add like uh, all guest email addresses and you can say if in the all guest email addresses, um, Andrew isn't present, uh, output false. So something like that, right? So you can really customize this to however you want, um, which is amazing. Um, so that's what I'm doing just with this decide that next in this step three, check if step two decision is true because we don't want to continue if it's not true. And to add a step, you just click on the add step button and you have everything in here. Um, you can ask a gem, which is really, really cool. So a custom, basically Google's version of a GPT. Recap on read emails, extract, decide, summarize. You have all these different options in here. And again, Google Sheets, you have Google Drive, Google Calendar, and Google Docs. So, and Google Tasks. And they're only adding more basically every single week. So in this step three, if 
it outputs true and there are action items in my meeting notes, then it will provide the link to the meeting notes. Gemini will then analyze and then I will send to this webhook everything I need. So this is where it gets a little bit interesting and the, let me just grab this from my other screen quickly and see right here, I just have a simple webhook node in, 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 in NADN and I've just grabbed the URL here, slapped it into right here and made it a post request. So it actually sends the data over to that webhook and then you can do whatever you want with that. I'm planning to send myself a Slack message once that's done. So that's quite cool. Next is the email auto labeler. This to me is honestly one of the most useful ones and it's so easy to implement that I don't know why everyone doesn't have one truly. So in the starter node right here, we're just going to say when I get an email and I'm going to do all emails, this is all you need to configure for this node. It's th literally that simple. Then right down below it, there's the actions node and this is called add labels. So again, if you want to customize this at all, you go here and you can see this is where I got them all under the Gmail label right here. And you have all these different nodes. So you can see when I get an email is not here because it is a starter node. So it's not showing up in the steps, but then add labels is just right here. So super simple. And then when you go add labels right here, I just did all of these. You can do new AI powered label and do a label name or a description for Gemini, like messages with invoices in them, messages from potential customers, messages from promotional sites. So very simple. And you can see, I just have these meeting update receipts and invoices, recruiting sales, support, and to respond. And then in your emails, it will label all of them automatically. So this does what softwares like Fixer AI do for free, basically. I mean, I am on Google Workspace right now, but I get a ton of other things on Google Workspace as well, not just this functionality. But Google is starting to weave more and more AI functionality with Gemini, which is getting more and more insane. And I feel bad saying that I underestimated it a few months ago. Now, this is my last one I wanted to highlight. Receive daily AI updates from major companies. So. Every single day I get an email and Gemini will search the internet and find insights and updates on new technology. And maybe I'll act on what I find. Maybe I'll make a YouTube video. Maybe I'll tell a friend about it, but it's really just to stay informed. And I like reading something first thing in the morning. And I like feeling like I've, you know, at least learned a small thing, even if it's not insanely useful in the morning. Um, well, that's all. I kind of said that weird. I don't like really learning if it's not insanely useful. But nonetheless, I think this one is pretty cool. And just another example of what you can do with this kind of technology. So if you go back on up to the discover button on the side, then you can see all of the pre-built ones. So you can see send guest summaries and action items after meeting, send me summaries and action, and action items after meeting, get meeting reminders in chat, auto request team updates weekly, auto request agenda updates, notify the team about new form responses. So play around with these. You can literally just click turn on and it will do it for you. Or you can describe a task for Gemini and it will try its best to do it. However, obviously it's going to be limited by the nodes that are currently available in this software. So once this is turned on, you can just see if I click on edit, now it will appear in the my agents tab right here. So it is the get a, a daily summary of unread emails, click on it, and then you edit it the exact same way that I showed you before. So I'm just gonna delete this one. But that is basically it, guys. I recommend every single person go to Flows if you have Google Workspace, if you're not a Microsoft weirdo, and try it out. It's super cool. And I think this is only a precursor as to what Google has planned moving forward. I think this is going to be one of the craziest rollouts we've seen from them ever, potentially. Like truly incredible stuff from coming from the Google AI team. So without further ado, thank you for watching the video, everyone. And I'll see you in the next one.